What's up, guys? This is Smash. We're back with Lizzie Ray Bombshell. And we're going to do a weird snack challenge. We just went to the grocery store, so some of these snacks may not be that weird. But we're going to see if we like them, if we think you should try them, and we're going to talk about some topics, see how it goes. So, Lizzie, how have you been? I've been really good. I'm excited slash nervous to try some of these because... I, like I mentioned, I'm a picky eater, and so he made sure to pick out some stuff that he was going to be like, try this. And I was like, no. <laughs> yeah, even when we were there, I was like, hey, let's try some really weird, gross stuff, and she just wasn't having it. So this was as close to it as I thought we could get. But um, let's get started. What do you want to start with? Um, I guess... Let me start with something I feel like is safe for me <laughs> and try these. These we found at an H-E-B and they're honey flavored cheese puffs. Might so be I good. Was like, that was odd. Like, sweet, cheesy. I'm going to open those. So it's Super Bowl Sunday when we're actually recording this. Uh, Tom Brady back in the Super Bowl for the 10th time. Uh, I'm a big University of Michigan fan, so of course I'm a Tom Brady fan. Even if you don't think he's the GOAT, he absolutely is. No other quarterback has been to that many Super Bowls. And he's going to win it again. Uh, I'm just telling you now. Who are uh, they playing? They're playing the Kansas City Chiefs. Oh, Patrick ew. Mahomes. Boo so, Chiefs. Yeah. I only say Boo Chiefs because the first... A uh, football game that we ever went to together live to it was Texans versus Chiefs, and the Chiefs killed them. It, it was, was a horrible. it was a playoff game between the Texans and the Chiefs, and the Chiefs just blew us out. I think it was thirty to nothing. It was awful. So it was awful, and it was a birthday gift to her. So yeah. it, it didn't go that well. Yeah. Let me get one of these yeah. so we can. I'm to wait. All right, you want to go first? Oh no, those are good. They are good. Those are good. When you first bite it, it tastes like a like a regular cheese puff, and then you keep chewing it, and then the sweetness comes out. Yeah. Like the sweetness gets on your lip. I can almost taste something Im pretty immediate. Like, I don't necessarily say. It's like the honey taste without sweet, if it makes sense. Yeah. Like it's almost good. immediately. A you put it on your tongue, bite into it. Oh my god. These are really good. I'm really glad I got these. <laughs> I'm glad you got them. Because we almost didn't. <laughs> mm. Oh my god. So how, so how crazy is it that... Sorry, I lent you. Um, Tom Brady, back in the Super Bowl, leaves the Patriots. Truthfully, to prove that he is the greatest of all time. He wants to go to another team... And, and win a Super Bowl with that team, or at least make it to the Super Bowl. He does it in the first year with Tampa Bay. First year. Wow. And people are going to say, oh, they built the team around him. Well, dude, listen. Guys, girls, whatever. Every single team builds around a superstar. You don't, sure, you don't go out and pay a superstar and then just pay him all this money to play with scrubs. So, if you're going to complain about them building a superstar team around him, well, guess what? They do it in basketball. They do it in baseball. They do it in football. It's how you win. Yeah. I'm not a huge fan of it. I believe in growing your talent. But I also believe in bringing in free agents. I don't think that one team should be able to bring in eight of the top tier free agents every season. But it's the way it works in baseball, unfortunately. <laughs> it's the way it kind of works in basketball. But, yeah, yeah we don't have sorry. any napkins. We didn't prepare very well. <laughs> I wasn't well. trying to interrupt you. I'm just like, crap. But, yeah, that, that's awesome. And no matter what you think about Tom Brady, that's he's the GOAT. He's the greatest of all time. Period. All right. Are you thirsty? I am thirsty. I'm a little thirsty. We'll put these over here to eat later. We have two drinks that we've never tried before. We, we got them in the, you know, Asian aisle. <laughs> This, um... Is Let's it... not try that one first. No? You don't want to try this one no. first? Okay. Let's try that one first. This is a natural coconut flavored soda. It's Coco Rico. So, 
I like I coconut some. stuff. She doesn't, so I've never we'll been see. a fan. I only like coconut on candy sometimes, but we have some cups here. Let's just share out of this. So I recommend that we try it warm. Yeah. Straight out the can. Right. Let's see how it tastes. Ooh, that's a strong hint of coconut. <laughs> like right away. <laughs> I actually don't hate it. It's not bad, but it's, it's, a, it's really a very not. strong taste. Let me see how it is with ice. It's nice. It's really refreshing. You're going to want to pour yourself a little bit more of it. It's, it tastes drastically different with ice. It like cuts out the carbonation almost. Mm -hmm. Do, do you oh, like, weird. Do you see what I'm talking about? Yeah. yeah. Like, it's really carbonated in here, like a soda. And then you take, put it in here, it almost tastes like a like a juice. Yeah, there's like almost, there's like zero burn of a carbonation yeah. once you add ice to it. That's weird. Well, that's two snacks down that are good. We're going to yeah. save this, put that off to the side. We may need to use it to cleanse, cleanse. our palate. Yeah. Um, let's see. I'll pick the next one. Yeah. Let's leave the hot ones for last. Oh, so it doesn't like destroy our palate. Yeah. <laughs> I picked these because I was trying to find something that I thought was weird. Roasted seaweed. Some people may have it as a normal snack and that's fine. This is just weird to us. It's like weird to us. stuff it's that not, we've never tried. Yeah, it's not something we typically will grab for a snack. All right, so this is roasted seaweed from Central Market. Spicy red pepper, roasted and seasoned snack. Hmm. I'm assuming it'll be kind of crunchy. Uh, it's so light. When I picked it up, I thought the box was empty. Oh, whoa. Like, pick up this whole thing. Like, it's so light. It's like, like lighter than paper. Oh my gosh. Okay, same time? Same time. Oh, mm, mm, I love it. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> mm. It's like sushi, but not. <laughs> I don't. Mm -mm. You gonna have the rest of yours? Yeah. <laughs> I knew I was gonna make that sound today. <laughs> I just kept picturing the scene in Elf when he sprays the perfume in his mouth. I like it. It reminds me of sushi. It makes me want some like actual sushi right now, but. It's freaking good. Now I just smell sushi, but there's no sushi, which makes me sad. But I don't, I don't like that. It's like someone. If you really, really like sushi, I recommend yeah. this. It's like someone burped the smell of sushi onto it. She's going to, are you going to vote no? No, I don't like it. No. Okay. <laughs> so we've got, you know, this would actually be good with these probably. Maybe. Cause they're both like you want to introduce those because you pick those okay so i picked these they're h-e-b's version of an oreo i don't know why i did that for oreo but um it's the mochaccino twisters and it, i guess it's coffee flavored it says cream it's cocoa some, coffee beans you have short hands so let me get that like right up I in there i made sure it was visible short hands yeah you have short hands <laughs> I short arms, short arms is what I meant, but... Short hat. I have longer fingers than you. Thank you. Just telling my secrets. I'm a big man with tiny hands. You just have big palms. I have long fingers. We fit. Cause... Big palms. <laughs> Let me see. Show. No, no. I'm drawing, I have nails Drawing too. the line. <laughs> drawing the line there. All right. Oh my um, god, it's like opening smell. a bag of coffee. Oh my god, it is like coffee. Oh, I love the smell of coffee. Oh my god, I just sit here and smell this all day. Oh god, okay. This is really good. I'm excited. I really all think right. this tastes good. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. I like it. Um, not as good as it smells to me. It, 
it tastes like a regular Oreo. No, it doesn't. Well, okay. No, it doesn't. Let me finish with an essence of coffee to it, to me. Like, if you've ever had a chocolate favored, chocolate flavored, chocolate covered espresso bean. It's not as powerful as that, but there's that after effins of coffee in your mouth. I like them. Um, I'm pretty sure this has coffee grounds in it. Mm. Um, that's what it tastes like. So that's why it kind of throws me off. It's crunchy. Like, they're not. They're not. They're not bad, but they're not as good as they smell to me. And my. First reaction when I bite into it is I just took a spoonful of coffee and put it in my mouth. It's it's crunchier than Oreo. The cookie is a lot crunchier than the, than an Oreo cookie. The cream in the middle is really good. Come on, let me try another one of just the cream. I wouldn't throw this bag away, mm -mm. but yeah. I don't think I'll ever buy them again. No, probably not. <clears throat> Here, I'll do the same thing. Lick it. The cream kind of tastes just like regular cream. Yeah. There's no... It, there's a little extra in there, but I don't... I can't... There's a slight essence of, like, coffee creamer, almost. Like, it's not exactly like white cream of a regular traditional Oreo. Yeah. That's good. I like it. It is good. Um... I just, once I've had a couple of them. Definitely, I can't go, like, I can't go ham on them like I can, like, double stuff Oreos. <laughs> yeah. Um, so talking about sports, you know, I kind of brought up to uh, Lizzie the other day that uh, the All-Star game for the NBA has become somewhat of a controversy because... A lot of players don't want to do it. They think that it's irresponsible because they're out doing their jobs. They're doing what they're paid to do. But the All-Star game just kind of seems extra that doesn't need to be there because of COVID. And it make, to me, it makes sense. Um, I don't agree with LeBron James's comment. He said something to the effect, I don't have a way to look it up right here. I didn't write it down. Uh, but said something to the effect of I'm going to be there physically, but I'm not going to be there mentally. That's a cop out. Mm -hmm. To me, that's a cop out. Like you can, you can sit out the all-star game. You lose that all-star game vote. You lose, I think you lose that all-star appearance. So you're going physically. So you get that on your resume, but you're trying to say that you're not going to be there mentally because you don't agree with it. That's a cop out, man. Like, come then on. Then why go? Like, you're you're probably the greatest basketball player in the NBA right now, and you're gonna make a cop out statement like that. Yeah. That like, kind of ridiculous. I'm a nobody. You're the one of the best basketball players to ever play. That's fine, but that's that's a cop out. That's saying I don't agree with hunting. I think hunting is bad, but I'm gonna go hunting because I'm it, the trip's paid for. So <laughs> I'm, I might as well go. But mentally, I'm in anguish, and I'm just not gonna go. I'm not gonna be there. Sad face. It's a it's a cop out. But what do you think about that? Like a lot of players are saying they really don't want to participate in the All Star Game, and there's a lot of them saying that they may reject the All Star Game and just not go. So I don't I don't know a lot about this at all. So what is all? Is it like where a player, different players from different teams come together and play against each other? Yeah, so the NBA, I mean, the All-Star game is just like the Pro Bowl and, and NFL, and it's also just like uh, the All-Star game in baseball. The players are voted who's believed to be the best players that season. and Regardless of the team they're on? Or regardless of the team they're on. And then they go, and they typically play by, by conference. So, like, it'll be the AFC versus the NFC in football. It'll be the Western versus the Eastern in basketball. And it'll be the American League versus the National League in baseball. Oh, okay. So, the, in, it looks good on a resume for, like, the Hall of Fame. And just to be, if you want that accolade. But it doesn't reflect on who you are as, as a player or a person. But... So, if you get elected, you don't have to go? No, I mean, if you, if you don't get elected, you're not required to go. If you oh. get elected, you're required to go oh, unless you okay. figure out a way to get out of it. 
Oh, or just, okay. I guess, refuse. I don't know if any yeah. players have ever openly just refused to go. So LeBron's playing in it? Yeah. Oh, he, okay. I mean, he absolutely is going to be in, voted in. Excuse like, me. No way he's not going to make it. Um, but basketball ha- has, like, skill challenges. So they have, like, a dunk competition, and then they have a three-point competition. They have different skills challenges. Oh. Um, but if, I'm, in my opinion, if you're so against it, then don't go. Yeah. Even if you get voted in, just don't go. Tell the NBA, hey, I'm not going to go. You're the biggest star in the NBA. You're the biggest star in the NBA. If you just say, I'm not going, even if I get voted in, what are they going to do, fine you? They can't fine you more money than you have. It's impossible because yeah. you're one of the richest people in sports. And it may also make them rethink doing the whole thing. Yeah, you could set a precedence and just not go and say, hey, I'm sitting out this year because of COVID. I'm doing my job by playing for the team that signed me. The All-Star Game brings the NBA money. I'm not going to play for the, for them. I play for this team. I play for the LA Lakers. I don't play for the NBA. I play in the NBA. I don't play for the NBA. I play for the LA Lakers who pay me. So my personal opinion is if you don't agree with it, then don't go. If, if I was in the NBA, I would absolutely not go. Um... But I also understand where it could be hard. Like, if it was my first NBA or All-Star game, I may not be able to say no. Right. Because I may never make it again. What if my career is ended? I may never get to experience that again. So for the guys that have never been before, I understand them wanting to go. Yeah. But for the guys who... um, You know, they have been 15, 20 times... Set of presidents. Maybe, maybe just vote, and whoever is in the All Star game, they get an All Star nod, and that's it. And there's no All Star game, and they just give players that time off. But who knows? Some I'm, people got to make that money. You have anything else you want to talk about with that, or no? I mean, I don't know a whole lot about okay. it. So. <laughs> so we got these right here. These spicy Cajun, Cajun taters, taters from Zaps. I've had Zaps before. I don't. I think I've had, had I don't think I've had this flavor. I've never heard of it. Um never heard of that flavor. But I have had Zaps before. They have a wide variety of flavors. Normally when it comes to chip options, I'll either go super basic with like Doritos, Nacho Cheese, or Cool Ranch. Um I love crunchy Cheetos and I love Cheeto Puffs and then like um, I really want to try this. Kettle jalapeno chips. My um, favorite. Okay, ready? Ready. Woo! It's good. Not bad. It's one of those chips I feel like you have to eat several of to really get the flavor. It's creeping with the hotness. It's not... Mm. They're not bad. They're, They're good. They're definitely not bad. Yeah. Sorry for that, lol. Yeah. <laughs> I was really concentrating. <laughs> yeah. They're not bad. They're not bad. Um, you were talking about favorite snacks. Um, I agree with her on some of those. Uh, nacho cheese, uh, Doritos, and uh, kettle chips. Those are really good. Oreos, regular Oreos. I don't really branch out and get a lot of the weird flavored Oreos because they're just usually not good. We tried one... I think it was a tiramisu Oreo. Oh, God. That was so... I love tiramisu, it and that thing was disgusting. Tiramisu great cake? Fantastic. Tiramisu Oreos? No. Yeah. It was bad. I think our kid ended up sneaking them and eating all of them to himself. Yeah. He does that. Um, <laughs> I'm also a big fan of, like, junk food, snack foods. There's a lot that I like, but I, I really like to eat apples and oranges, lots of different fruits, berries... I'm very, very big into, like, healthy snacks. Yeah. Like, father like son. Our son eats oranges and apples to an almost unhealthy point. Yeah. <laughs> My leg? Um. You have a problem? Yeah, I have a problem. You need more space? No. <laughs> Alright, so... We have Thai iced coffee from Taste Nirvana. 
Cafe Glace Thailandis. I'm probably saying that wrong. We also got this one from the Asian Isle. Can't get I don't know if it's going to focus well. Uh, Try and fail. <laughs> All right, let me not pour it in there. I'm excited to try this one. Tins coffee. Smells good. Smell. All right. You want to try this? Sure. Watch that dribble. Drip, drip. Drip, 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 drip. Oh, God, it smells so good. It smells like a Starbucks, like the kind that you can buy in the glass bottles in the store. Mm hmm. Mm. It kind of tastes like one too, only like a mocha frappuccino bottled one. I like that. I agree with her. Yeah. This one's kind of diluted because the ice melted a little bit. But yeah, it really, yeah, it really does. I should compare these for how much um, calories and stuff. Are in these That's a low the, amount of calories for how yeah, big that can is. Like, it's 180 calories. There's 25 grams of added sugar. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you have any weird snack concoctions you've tried? Oh, gosh. Um, well. Mm, that is good. Man. A lot of times I'll end up getting... A, yeah, a snack. Um... Oh, so maybe this isn't weird, but there's these like flavored saltine crackers at HEB mm -hmm. that they're, um, you know, like oiled and have seasoning on them. And they're most people never heard of them. And at first glance, they look weird, but they're they're delicious to me, and I will eat them to no avail. <laughs> and then, um, are you just going to eat this whole bag of zaps? I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> um, a lot of times I'll end up making a snack that has something to do with cheese. <laughs> Putting cheese on anything will make yeah. me happy. <laughs> cheese on anything is good. Um, somebody I worked with told me to try peanut butter on pickles. Oh. Have you? I have. It's not very good. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Um, they're just two completely different spectrums of the taste world or spectrum and two different ends of the texture spectrum. Not good. I, I wouldn't go out of my way to do that ever. Absolutely not. I don't like pickles. Like regular pickles. I'll eat like fried pickles slices, but regular pickles out of a jar. No. Deep fried Oreos. Oh, yeah. I mean, we're from Texas, so deep fried anything. I mean, Texas will deep fry absolutely anything. Butter. <laughs> I can't really think of a lot of weird snack concoction that I've come up with. Because, I, I mean, I've done a lot of things drunk, inebriated in other oh, ways. This um, isn't really weird. Sorry. Um, to cut you off, <laughs> but I remember the reaction my dad had to it when I thought it was really funny. I, um, had gotten like a frosty from Wendy's and I was dipping my French fries in it and eating them. And my That's dad, weird. I know my dad looked over and he's it's like, not weird. he was it's like, normal. His, does that. his reaction to it was funny though. But he was like, are you dipping your French fries into your frosty? And I was like, yeah. Cause in my head I was like, I saw it in the movie, the kid, it looks good. So I wanted to start doing it. And he was like, I'm just going to pretend I didn't see that. And I was like, what? It's like cutting out the middleman. Now I'm just have it all in one bite instead of having to take a bite of a french fry and then scooping a part of the frosty. <laughs> Man, that's so good. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, I've tried a lot of stuff. Inebriated has made me try a, a lot of a lot of things. I have to buy this right here. And sometimes I eat like I'm pregnant. Yeah. And True. she doesn't get it. And then when I am pregnant and he eats like he's preg more pregnant than I am, it's weird. Yeah. <laughs> Got one more snack to try. 
these are. Do you want to introduce these? <laughs> I, I, I kind of took the last couple, so I don't want to be rude. Um, these are artisan style kettle cooked Diabla. I guess they're I guess they're female. Red hot chili Red pepper. Red hot chili pepper potato chips. We plan to do a hot snack challenge in the future. Yeah. But There's, we've yeah. never tried these before, and they yeah. look like a weird. They have a habanero flavor, a fuego, a jalapeno, and a lime chipotle flavor. Let's see what this is all about. Ooh, those are covered. Whoo, that smells spicy. <laughs> Just opening the bag, and you get like a big old whiff of spice. That's a big chip. That's a, that's a <laughs> big kind of, chip. She's thick. <laughs> she's thick. Girl, oh, I'm thick. Kinda, I'm kind of nervous about this one. You ready? Okay, yeah. Right away, Pepper. Oh my God. I'm a wimp when it comes to heat. And that's a weird spice. Um, The the thinness of the chips is really good though. It's weird. Not really hot. It's not really hot. Just... It almost tastes like ketchup. Like when someone puts like Tabasco almost, in ketchup. Almost like a spicy ketchup. Not one yeah. burger spicy ketchup, but almost like a spicy ketchup now that you say that. It does. It tastes like a spicy ketchup. Yeah. But it was weird the first hit. I'm going to take another one. Oh, I got a hard chip. The first chip is good. The second chip was hard. Tastes just like ketchup. Like a spicy ketchup. Maybe it's like heavy on tomato mixture or something. It also has like a lot of like sea salt texture, like not texture, but flavor to uh, it. I don't think that's a win for me. It, this is not a win. Like I'm, I can finish the bag. I wouldn't like give it away or throw it away, but it, it's not a win. The zaps, I'll, I'll eat those all day. Those are really good. I can't wait for us to try some really hot stuff and see her reactions and mine. I made that like a like. I'm a baby. A big old wimp. Like he'll, he'll look at like a wing list, flavor list, and be like, oh, the hottest one, or one step below it. Give me that and try it. And I'm like, I'm good. <laughs> like, give me some lemon pepper and garlic parmesan or mild buffalo. It's about as high as I'll go on the heat the index. <laughs> ah. We wanted to mention to you a new uh, little endeavor we finally put together on Facebook. Um, so we mentioned in our last video that we do art and we really love art. Um, well, we had been painting different pieces over um, a, a span of time for a while the last couple years. So we finally felt like we got enough. We wanted to go ahead and put them together on a page and offer them up for sale. So we have a Facebook page up called Eternal Monster Studio and go check it out. There's tons of different paintings. Most of the abstract looking ones are by him. Uh, a lot of the animal, all the animal ones um, are by me. Um, we are willing to take a commission um, if it's, you know, if it's something that y'all want that's in our style because you like our style. Like we're not realist portrait people. We're <laughs> You're just not going to get something like that out of us. <laughs> yeah, if y'all can go check out our page, hit that like. You don't have to buy anything, but we would love if you did. We'd love to put our art out there so everyone can see it and enjoy it and love it as much as we did. Yeah. I think that's it. Do you have anything else yeah. you wanted to talk about? No, I think I think I'm good. This was a really not, this was a really fun experience. I'm really glad we tried these two drinks. Yeah. Because they were both really good. I never thought I would actually like a coconut flavored drink, but it was delicious. And this coffee, I may start buying as a staple now to have like little that, that coffee is iced coffees. Mint. It's good. I agree with you on the drinks. The drinks were really good. A couple of those snacks were great. Um, those honey flavored cheese puffs. Oh, oh boy. God. I can't wait to go. Those are going to be dangerous. They're going to be gone probably by the end of the night. <laughs> oh yeah. If we watch a movie, I'm telling you. Um, Tell us which ones you think um, you would like to try 
Yeah, and give us some uh, ideas. Some ideas. Like, let us know. We're going to do more stuff like this. We like to eat. We like to eat with you guys and talk about stuff. Um, we're going to do a Valentine's Day candy, like weird candy. Like so Valentine's look forward to that. We're going to release it on Valentine's Day. So drop us some comments. Let us know what kind of weird snacks you want us to try in the future. Any hot stuff. We're going to probably look up some of the hottest candies and snacks there are. Mm -hmm. Buy a few of them. And we'll see how we react to them. We're going to try at least sitting. three in one sitting. It may be multiple videos because I don't know if I want to do... Hot, so much hot, to hot, wear, hot. I can't breathe. Right. We're like drooling. I may not wear much makeup for that video. Yeah. <laughs> but let us know below what kind of snacks you want us to try. Um, and let us know what you think about Tom Brady and the Super Bowl. This will be released after the Super Bowl is over. I'm saying go Bucks, go Tom Brady. Uh, the Buccaneers are actually one of the first Super Bowls I remember watching when the Buccaneers beat the Raiders. It's one of my first Super Bowls I remember watching with my dad. So, kind of a soft spot for the Buccaneers. So, I do want them to win. Yeah, I'm, go I'm rooting for them too because I don't like the Chiefs. <laughs> <laughs> but, Sorry if that's all Chiefs the time fan. we've got. <laughs> that's all the time we've got. But, we really appreciate you guys stopping by. Like, subscribe. Follow us on all our, you know, my Instagram, his Twitch, his, our, our Twitters. You can find me on it on any social media platform at 7Smasher. That's 7 spelled out. Smasher, S-M-A-S-H-E-R. And then me, Lizzie Ray Bombshell, all one word. So, appreciate it, guys. Mwah. Peace.